Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be talking about the loft with the guide rail. So in the last lecture, we created just the loft. So sometimes when you create a loft, you can actually control the transition between the first loft and the second loft. So I'll show you what that means. So now let's create a guide rail for our loft. So this is the same sketch from the previous lecture. So you can download it from the asset folder. So I'll find a plane that touches both sketches. So in this example, the front plane will be a good choice. So on that sketch, I'll sketch normal two. And let's draw a spline. So in the, for this example, we wouldn't worry about defining it. We are just going to draw a spline. So draw something like that and click the spline the end point of the spline and hold it down the control key select your first sketch which is the circle and pierce it so add the pierce relation so that's another example of relation so when you pair you can pierce the end point to another sketch so we'll do the same thing at the bottom so we'll select that and select this line and pierce it. Good. Did I accept that sketch? So we have something like that. And we can, let's add another transition, another guide rail on this end. It will be nice if we actually add, let's edit that sketch and just add a dimension to it. So just to keep it consistent. So we just we can add any random dimension. So I'm just going to 2.5 and um, and I'll make that 1.5. So 2.5, 1.5, um, three. Now make that four. So it's 2, 2 1.53. Okay, good. So let's click on the front plane again. Sketch. Let's draw another spline on this end. Something like that is similar to this. So I'm just going to select. I'm going to pierce that point in my circle. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm going to add my dimension. So if I can remember, um, let me check those dimensions again because I, because I can't remember. So I'm just going to cancel out just for a second and exit out of this sketch and check the dimension for this. So I have 2.54, 1.53. Okay. We have 2.5. This is four. And this is 1.5. And this is the last one is three. Again, I'm just doing this so that way we have an even transition just to show you what we would get. So we exit out of that sketch and we have something like this. And you can do it for all four sides too, but we're just going to keep it at this two side for this example. So now we can go into our feature and um, loft. We would, in this profile, we would select our circle and our rectangle. Then for the guide curve, we will select this line. And you can see the transition has changed and we will also select that line. And now we'll select OK. And you can see that our transition has changed. So that is how you use guide curve. And if you want the same thing on this end, you can also use the curve to 
dictate how the part transition from one sketch to the other. Um, thank you and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.